I'm just gonna lay here in the sand. <laughs> you doing your backward head thing? Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful animal. And all the pups are hungry. It's funny how little babies are always hungry. You know, it looks like all these girls have accepted Steve after all. You might say he's gotten the seal of approval. <laughs> now that I'm all covered in sand, I might go for a lays down in the shallow water. Sea lions have a pup every year and they'll nurse for up to three years. So it's not unusual to see two different aged pups nursing off the same mother. The pups always seem to get along well, but among the grown ups, there's a lot of argument over who owns what piece of sand. Meanwhile, Steve's visiting the nursery. Let's see how he does in Sea Lion Kindergarten. These tidal pools are really important in a sea lion's life because this is where the young'uns come out and they learn to swim, frolic around. It's very safe. Of course, natural predator of the sea lion is shark. And they're very safe in here. You can see over here that big one, doing a bit of swaying. That's one of the beach marks. Big male. I don't think he likes me here too much. These little pups, they don't mind me. They're quite inquisitive. But I've got to keep my eye out for that beach master because if he has a go at me, I've got to move, and I've got to move quick. I've got to remember this is their territory, and I've got to play by their rules. What are you pups doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're lazing around in the water. Look at the little flipping, flipping thing. Look at the flipping, flipping thing. Flipping, flipping. Oh. The baby sea lions don't seem to mind that there's one amongst them that has really weird flippers. It's a pity we can't do this with sea lions around the world instead of only at the Galapagos Islands. <laughs> this one really wants to be a television star. <laughs> Frisky little devils, aren't they? And they're cute. They're quite inquisitive. They're sizing me up. What are you naughty little blokes doing? Hey guys, I'm lucky enough to get to play mother to these two cute little ring-tailed possums. I think Australia has some of the cutest babies in the world. In this next video, Steve travels to Sumatra where he falls in love with a family of his own. She's got shaggy red hair, and she's really cute. She's an orangutan. <laughs> the most incredible primate, the orangutan. And I think we connect so much with them because they're a lot like us. They have a wonderful social system, and the mothers take really good care of their babies. They're so laid back, really, till they come down onto the ground. But as you can see, this little baby, it's chewing away, so it's quite important to the baby to get ground time. It's like our little baby, we call it tummy time. They've got to learn all the experiences, including on ground. Now watch this. The baby will start to get away a bit, and she'll just grab it and pull it straight back down. Come on, little baby. Here she goes. Come on, baby. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, boy, Terry's met, met her match here. I'm a little bit in love. I'm a little bit in love with this orang. Look at her face. She's got the most darling facial features, beautiful lips, a nose very similar to mine. Those big, gorgeous eyes. Come here, little baby. And look at these feet. Look at your feet. You've got lovely feet. She's got cute little whiskers, too. 
And have a look at that haircut. Nice haircut, sweetheart. Hey, Bibi. Your Bibi's up there. like I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this girl right here in the wilderness of Sumatra. Awesome. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If I look at it for too long, I'm going to cry. She's so drop-dead gorgeous. Look at her fur. You know, the other thing that I find totally amazing is they smell great. They really have a pleasant smell. Absolutely pleasant. And their fur is just like beautiful red hair. Oh, we're a little bit itchy. And an itchy eye. Mm, that tastes good. We've all seen the maternal instincts of mammals. Well, I'd like to take a journey up into the foothills in the Northwest Pacific region to look at a rattlesnake who's got maternal instincts. They're catching their first rays of sunlight after denning for winter. <laughs> 